How's it going everybody? My name is Jesse and welcome back to Continues to Improve. Today I'm going to do a Q&A style video on what it takes or how it is that I became a male nurse. And I put up a post and I didn't get any questions, but I just kind of put myself back in the frame of mind of when I was first starting my journey. You know, what questions that I have along the way? So I wrote down quite a bit and I'm just going to go through them here. Maybe some of them are questions that you have and hopefully it's helpful. Otherwise, if you have new questions, you can always put them in the comments down below and maybe I'll do a part two in the future or maybe I'll answer it there in the comment sections for you. So let's get started. So for this first question that I have, I wrote, why should a man become a nurse? Isn't it a female profession? So this is something that I was doubting when I first started my nursing journey as well. Just having this idea that being a nurse is a female profession. So as a male going into this profession, you know, what is it like? You know, and should a man do it? Looking back at it now, friends, I mean, if you've seen my first original video where I was telling you, you know, if it was worth it or not, I really do think it's worth it as a man to go into this profession. I think it gives you a very solid foundation to a very solid lifestyle slash career slash life. It gives you a very solid source of income. So definitely, it doesn't matter if you're a man or a female, you should definitely go into this profession. But understanding that it's a female dominated field, right, line of work, as a man, you know, there's pros and cons to it. But looking back at it now, I would say overall, they're going to be very minimal, like they're going to be very minimally impacting you in your day to day, you know, as you're as you go about being a nurse, it's not really going to impact you. So just keep that in mind. The main thing is just ourself trying to get over the fact that you're in a female dominated field, there may be some stereotypes that, oh, you know, you know, your nurse will be in the room in a second and maybe patients think it's a female, but you come into the room as a male. But that stereotype is slowly dying. There's definitely a lot of men in this, you know, line of work now. So the, the line isn't as black and white as it was before. People expect there to be men in nursing. It's gone a lot better. And for me, I work in a prison, which maybe I'll get to in one of these questions, but it doesn't impact me at all. So just keep that in mind. So the second question that I have. Is it hard to become a registered nurse and what's the hardest part? So friends, for me, looking back at, you know, from when I started till now, I would say the hardest part in becoming a registered nurse is actually in just trying to get into a school. Getting into a school is the hardest part because once you're in school, they tell you all the classes you need to take. They give you a schedule of your clinical rotations. Um, you know, all these things are kind of handed to you. You don't really have to worry so much about the planning. You're already in the program. Everything is, I would say, smooth sailing. It's challenging, but it is smooth sailing at that point. You don't really, your, your stress level in terms of planning, what classes do I take, all that stuff is gone from, you know, all the time spending energy on that, trying to get into the program. That's gone. So the hardest part for me looking back was just getting in. For some reason, friends, it continues to be a problem to get into nursing programs. I think a part of it is, you know, there's not enough instructors, which makes it hard for all these students that are trying to get into the profession. So it makes it very impacted, right? There's a very limited amount of seats at each school, at each program. So making yourself competitive to get into a program and then getting in is by far the hardest part. So if you can get over that hurdle and you can get in from that point on, it's not as hard. It's hard, but not as hard. So for this next question, friends, is it worth getting a BSN over an ADN? For me, you know, I'll be up front, I started from the jump pursuing a BSN. And for those that don't know, a BSN is a Bachelor's of Science in Nursing, an ADN is the associate right route of that, an associate's degree of nursing. Um, both are valid. I mean, I live in the state of California, I've worked around people who have a bachelor's and an associate's. And in my setting, I mean, if they're next to me as my coworker, they don't make any less than I do just, just because I have a bachelor's degree. You know, so financially it may not matter. In terms of setting up your first gig and trying to get a good gig, you may have some more challenges than someone with a bachelor's degree, you know, just because a bachelor's may be seen as more competitive. But once you get your foot in the door and you land that gig, it may not even matter. Sometimes having an ADN, your employer can actually pay you or pay your school, give you some incentive to go back to school to get your bachelor's, if that makes sense. 
So for me, I would say it is worth getting a BSN if you have the mental bandwidth, right? The mental energy, the time capacity, finances to go for it from the jump because it, it'll save you some time later on. It might set you up for a really good gig from the start as opposed to an associate's. But when you really compare them, it's better to just get into the nursing profession, even if it is through the associate's route, right? I'm not, I wouldn't, I wouldn't suggest you putting off your nursing profession, right? Just because you can't pursue the bachelor's right now and you can only pursue an associate's degree, I wouldn't push that off. I would just go for the associate's anyway and just get in. Because once you're in, friends, your life will change, your income will increase, it'll be worth it to you. So where do I personally work? Friends, I work in a correctional setting. For me, I knew when I was in clinical rotations that I didn't want to work in a hospital. It's just my own personal preference. I just knew, you know, going through med surge, uh, ER, ICU, L and D, I knew I didn't want to go and work at a hospital. It's just personal preference. You know, I'm, I'm literally the only person out of my whole cohort that I think thought that way or maybe not just thought that way, but actually thought that way and, and followed through on it. Right. Because most people are going to say, no, start off in a hospital, get experience. I dislike the hospital that much. I was like, let me find a different pathway. Let me pave a different path for myself. So I went into corrections from the jump as a new grad. I started in the county jail and then from there now I work at a state prison. And I still remain in the correctional setting. And that is my setting. That is my line of work. I work around inmates, around prisoners here in the state of California. For me, I personally enjoy it. It's different. It's like outpatient and they have an inpatient unit. Um, if you're curious, um, if you have any questions about that line of work, because it's very, I don't, not like taboo, but it's just not spoken about. Uh, I had had no idea it existed until after I graduated. So if you have any questions, you could always reach out to me. But initially, I actually wanted to be a police officer when I was first, you know, in high school and thinking about, you know, what career did I want for myself? You know, later, a couple years in, you know, full circle, I'm a nurse in kind of law enforcement. You know, when I was working in the county jail, I was working around CHP officers and custody staff and police officers. And now I work in the state prison system where I work around officers as well, right? Custody officers. So it's just interesting to me. But coming full circle, you know, it makes sense. If you're curious, that's where I work. So what is my dream nursing job? So, you know, I'm about four or no, over four years now as being a nurse in, in the workforce. You know, when I first started, I wasn't sure. Like I knew I wanted to do corrections. Like that is where I wanted to be. Corrections or psych nursing. I'm in correctional nursing now. But like now thinking about my dream job, you know, I did go back to school to get my master's degree. I did it because I ultimately want to become um, like a nurse consultant at the facility and organization in which I work at. Having a master's degree helps. But I ultimately what this is, friends, is an administrative nursing position where I can work from home. Like that is my dream job. It could be in case management. It could be in some, some type of um, it could be in some type of nurse consulting for correctional nursing. Um, or it could just be something in legal nursing because that's kind of my current position in my current line of work. I work as a grievance and appeals nurse. So something along those lines. But the main thing I'm looking for as a dream nursing job is just one that's flexible, one where I can work fully remote and just be very flexible like that. If my job was fully remote, I'd be able to move about in this life so much differently. My partner is already super flexible. You know, as you can see back here, she has a business of her own and, you know, she makes up her own schedule. I'm the only one who has to go in physically to work. So once I can get that job, it's a goal of mine. It's a dream to work from home as a nurse be super flexible. That for me would be the best. So that's what I'm striving for next currently. That's why I went back to school. So this next question, friends, why is it so hard to get into a nursing school? So I kind of touched on this in an earlier question. You know, the big issue is just impaction. The number of students trying to get into these programs versus the number of seats available. So these schools also are having issues, you know, getting instructors. And it ties all the way back to when I was even in nursing school. Like they were looking for instructors during the semester, right? Like my next semester is about to start and they don't even have an instructor to teach one of the classes that I need, like informatics. So it's an ongoing problem and it looks like it's still continuing to be. There's a huge need for registered nurses 
I say there's a huge need for men to be in the nursing field because it's a solid, solid career. Like you're going to have a solid life. So I really am trying to just push that message, right? But impaction is the biggest problem. But the number of seats available for the number of people applying for those seats makes it very difficult to get into a nursing program. Only the cream of the crop can really get in when it comes to, you know, going off a point system application. You know, other schools have a lottery system. If it's a lottery system, you know, it's up for grabs, right? They just draw your name. Sometimes when you're a repeat applicant, you get a better, you know, opportunity to get in because you have more names in the, in, the, in the hat, right? But when it's off a point system, unless you're at the top, right? Unless you have all A's and your T's is a certain score and you have like certain experience for more points, you know, the cream of the crop is what gets in and it makes it very, very, very competitive. It was competitive when I was in it and trying to apply and get in and it looks like it's still the same problem. So this next question, friends, does being a male nurse mean you get treated differently? I would say ultimately no. I mean, it really depends where you work. If you work in L&D, just from my experience, being a man, you know, it will be different, right? That's a very, like, nursing is our very, nursing is already a female-dominated profession. Labor and delivery is specifically a female-dominated floor. So there's certain circumstances where maybe, yeah, you get treated differently. But overall, from my experience, you know, you're a professional. Even if it's a female patient, you're a professional. You can still do your job. If there's something at some point you don't feel comfortable with, you can always get a coworker who's a female to help you out do a certain procedure, right? That's always an option. But from my experience, I haven't really gotten treated differently for being a male in the nursing profession. Um, if anything, I've gotten you know kudos for being a man in the nursing profession. People often you know think it's a cool thing. They think it's you know really nice to see a man you know be compassionate and caring as opposed to you know that very masculine you know bring up the hammer and build up a house type of thing. So it, you know there's pros to it. As far as the cons, I would say they're very 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 minimal. I haven't really experienced anything too much, and then it just depends where you work. But ultimately, I would say you don't really get treated differently. I think it's just more of your own, your own thing. I know I had to kind of get over that a little bit myself. So how much do I make as a registered nurse? So for me, friends, you know, I work for the state of California. My salary is actually online. You can go to calcareers.com. On there, you'll actually see the salary for a correctional registered nurse. I'm already at the top scale of that. It's about $10,800 a month, and you know that's about $130,000. We just got a raise, so it'll be slightly more, but I make about $130,000 right now. So like I said, I made a video before where it says every man should try to make $100,000. Well, I make about $130,000. So just make $100,000. Like that should just be your goal, right? It doesn't matter what state you live in. Maybe some cost of living is lower in certain states, and that's cool, but you should still strive for the six-figure mark. If you live in California as opposed to like Wisconsin or something, you know, you're definitely going to make more in California because it's just a higher cost of living area. But you actually might make even more, right? As a nurse, you're already going to make quite a bit of money. You are. It's a great, solid profession here in the United States. You're going to make a good bit of money. Even if you're a travel nurse and take assignments in other states, like you'll make even more money. My point is, it's a solid career. You'll make a lot of money. And even if you're in a higher cost of living area, you'll still make even more money on top of that for the cost of living in that area, if that makes sense. So $130,000 is what I currently make without overtime. So for this last question, friends, and I may make a part two, you know, later on, or if you have any questions, maybe I'll make those into a video. But this last question, what is the biggest tip for someone just deciding to pursue a nursing degree? So for this one, friends, I would say you know, it's tough. I would say, you know, meet up with a counselor and make sure you have a good plan in place for the goal that you have of trying to get into a program, right? Let's say you're starting completely from scratch or you have no knowledge at all of how to get into a nursing program. Your goal should always be, how do I get into a nursing program? And then find the path for you on how to get there. Is it through the ADN route? Is it through the BSN route? And once you decide that, and you could do both at the same time, but once you decide it, look for schools in your area, right? These are all things that a counselor would typically help you with, but oftentimes they're not very helpful, which is, you know, something that I've noticed in my own path. That's why, like, part of me wants to start, like, a nurse mentorship program where I can kind of walk people, walk men through this process, right? 
I, I have this idea in the back burner. So I'm going to continue to kind of brew on that and, and think about it. But my point is become your own counselor, right? Find out what path you need to get into the program. And then ultimately just map it out, figure out what classes you need for which schools, which ones double dip and try to get all A's. Try to get all A's. Shape each semester in a way where maybe you take one hard class and two easy ones and you start shaping this so you give yourself the best chance to get an A, right? Because you want to make yourself as competitive as possible. And I think that is just my biggest tip for you is make yourself competitive. Find the pathway to get into a program. Because like I said, the hardest part is getting in to a program. Once you're in, it's smooth sailing from there. It is hard, but it's smooth sailing. So my biggest tip for you friends is in preparation, trying to get into a nursing program. Make sure you put in the time to prepare, to find the pathway that you need. And in that process, make yourself competitive, apply, get in. And once you're in, you're good friends. Once you're in, you're solid. So that's going to be it for this week's video, friends, at least for this Monday's upload. You'll be seeing some self-talk videos in here. Um, if you're curious and you see those self-talk videos and you're like, man, what are these? Well, that is a retrospective series of my past self speaking to a camera, you know, uploading it now in real time for myself. Maybe for some of you, they're life lessons, things that I'm learning on this journey of personal development, trying to become a better and better man myself. Just the underlying message of this video, friends is as a male nurse, you can do it. It will be worth your time and investment. At the, at the end of it, friends, you will live a solid life. It's a solid career. You don't have to work in a hospital. You don't even have to work in corrections like me. You can eventually work from home. You can work in home health. You can work at a dialysis clinic, outpatient clinic. There are so many places you can work. That's why it's like saying, oh, I can't be a nurse. It's like, it doesn't make sense. As a man, you can easily be, not easily, but you can become a nurse and easily find the niche for you. There's so many to choose from and you don't have to work in a hospital like me. <laughs> See you guys in the next video, friends. This one was a fun one to make. If you have any questions, don't be afraid. Leave them down below. I want to be helpful. I want to give back. I want to share some knowledge. See you on the next one.